I hope you're having a great day and I hope you're staying safe at home. Today I want to talk about a trace mineral. Okay, trace minerals, you have vitamins, you have trace minerals, you have carbohydrates, you have proteins, you have fats. These are your macronutrients. And then you have your micronutrients, which are your vitamins and trace minerals. There are several trace minerals. You would have heard of copper, you would have heard of magnesium, phosphorus, sodium, potassium, cobalt, chlorine, all of these things. Several trace minerals. It's called a trace mineral because your body needs it in very, very small quantities. But these trace minerals power almost every function in the human body. And sometimes you have a deficiency of even one of these trace minerals. It could cause so many problems. Let me give you a simple example of magnesium. Magnesium is a trace mineral, controls over 350 to 500 functions in the human body. So let's say, for example, someone wakes up every morning and they have cramps in the calf muscles or in their leg muscles, okay? So they go and see various doctors, they do different treatments, massages, all of that stuff, but all they have is a deficiency of magnesium. They start eating magnesium-rich foods or they supplement magnesium with professional advice and the cramps disappear. It is so important for us to understand the deficiency of vitamins and minerals cause numerous problems. Today, the world is talking about vitamin D. For the longest time, we thought vitamin D was only the sunshine vitamin for bones. Well, no, we've been saying it for the longest time. You need it for your hormonal health. Your body cannot make hormones without the right amount of vitamin D. You need it for your immune system. People are seeing how the immune system cannot function without vitamin D and several other diseases. So when it comes to human health, you gotta go back to the basics. You may have complicated medication on one side, which is great, we need it for complicated problems. But if we don't look at the basic deficiencies in the human body, our part of treatment only becomes symptomatic. We go on putting band-aids on every problem, on every disease that we have, but those problems keep reoccurring because we've not addressed the root cause. The trace mineral that I'm talking about today is manganese. Not magnesium, but manganese. Yes, there is something called manganese. Okay, now we hold about 35 to about, you know, 30 to 35 mg in our body tissues. It's found in the liver, it's found in the pancreas, it's found in the pituitary gland, it's found in the kidneys. Now, if we have a deficiency on this, let's understand the function of magnesium, of manganese. Manganese is to nourish your nerves, to nourish your brain. Okay, if we have a deficiency in manganese, these are the symptoms that we can have. Symptoms ranging from poor muscle coordination. You see, you have a nerve, you have a neurotransmitter. A neurotransmitter is a chemical messenger. A nerve and a messenger coordinate to produce an action. So if I tell you to flex a muscle or lift a finger or lift your toe, that is an action that happens after a neurotransmitter and a neuron are able to have the right coordination. If a neurotransmitter and a neuron cannot coordinate, I will not get that action happening. So as we age, we have miscoordination between our muscles, our footsteps, our brain, our thinking, all of these things. We can go the complicated way if necessary, or we can look, do we have sufficient manganese? When you go through heavy medications, you go through chemo, radiation, a lot of stress in your lifestyle, you don't keep your body clean. When I mean that, your liver isn't detoxifying, your kidneys working on the drive overdrive, you're constipated all the time, you have too many acids build up. You know, we deplete these trace minerals from our body and then we're left with problems like this. Your brain, your brain has to be nourished. Everything in your brain works with nerves. So we understand sometimes we wanna perform an action and people with Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, dementia, uh, cogn uh, cognitive brain disorders face this. They wanna do something but it doesn't become the action. They cannot perform the action. There's there's incoordination between the neurotransmitter, the neuron, and your action. So manganese does all of these things. I made a whole list. Lack of manganese is also, uh, is, is also uh, connected with infertility. So here we are chasing IVF, all of that. I don't have a problem with that. But get your basics right. Do you have sufficient manganese? Now don't go and test your manganese. If you're eating a balanced diet, you'll see, because the foods that contain it are normal, common foods. If I'm eating balanced, most of us will have sufficient manganese. If you're going through heavy treatment, there's a huge chance you're depleting it, so then you wanna add more manganese-rich foods to your diet, so you balance it. So this is the problem with fad diets. When you go on fad diets that restrict you from most of the foods I'm gonna talk about, you end up having a manganese deficiency. With that comes a lot of dizziness as well, because dizziness, again, is in coordination in the brain. You have to understand that. 
You have problems with diabetes as well. I'm not saying it causes diabetes, but you have fluctu fluctuations in your glucose intolerance levels, your glucose insulin resistance, all of this requires uh, manganese. Your enzymes, enzymes perform various functions in the body, like enzymes signal for a breakdown of carbohydrates into energy, fat into energy, protein into amino acids. These enzymes are also driven by manganese. So if I have insufficient manganese, I can have improper carbohydrate or fat metabolism in the body. It can go that deep. Fatigue. Sometimes we're tired no matter what we do. We sleep well. We do everything, but we're so tired. It could be a deficiency of B12. It could be a deficiency of D3. It can also be a deficiency of manganese because manganese helps you with the breakdown of carbohydrate and fat into energy. If we can't have that breakdown, all of us think we're eating the right foods, but it's not about what you eat. It's about how your body breaks down assimilates and absorbs what you eat. For that, you need enzymes. For enzymes, you need trace minerals, vitamins, and everything else. Poor elasticity in muscles. Everyone chases collagen. Collagen is good, but you need manganese as well for collagen to work. So you want tighter skin, more elastic skin, good quality muscle. You know, a lot of people have very loose muscle. So muscle also requires for its elasticity, you need manganese as well. If you have constant conflict in your thinking, there's memory loss, you take a long time to recall numbers, that could be due to so many different things, but manganese is one of them. So where do you find manganese? Citrus fruits. You have amla, which is the Indian gooseberry. It's growing right now in this season. You have mang mangoes. When you eat seasonal fruits that grow, it has everything that you need, everything and more. So citrus fruits need to be in your diet. But oh, look, everyone's saying that you shouldn't eat fruits. Fruits make you fat. My diet doesn't allow me to eat fruits. Well, be ready for deficiencies. Be ready for deficiencies because when you try to control what you think is right, you're not measuring what you're losing. And no one, no one can be so thorough in order to tell you that you need to eat all of these and all these vitamins and all these minerals will be met. No. That's why a balanced diet works. When you eat in balance, you get a little bit of this every day. Maybe today I won't get too much of manganese, but tomorrow my dad will give me more manganese because I ate an extra fruit. So your body learns how to balance and even store this in your tissues. But when you're doing a fat diet, it never works. You find it in amla and all the citrus fruits. You find it in all of your green leafy vegetables. Right from your spinach to all of your green leafy vegetables, you will get sufficient manganese. You do not go have to go out there and take supplements and do anything like that. For non-vegetarians, you'll find it in the egg yolk, you'll find it in fish sauces, you'll find it in nuts, almonds, especially almonds, but eat it with the skin. Soak the almonds and eat it with the skin. You'll also find it in cashew nuts. Don't eat your cashew nuts salted. Okay, always eat your cashew nuts unsalted and not fried. A lot of cashew nuts are roasted in oil to make them taste better. You want to be careful of that. You find them in grains. So everyone's going off grains and stuff like that, but you find it in brown rice, you find it in oats, you find it in amaranth, you find it in your grains. Grains are a part of the human diet. Yes, there are a lot of people who lose weight because they choose not to eat grains. That's different. Our goal here is not weight loss. Our goal here is your health, your immunity, everything that your body requires. And when you take care of that, you automatically lose weight. And uh, you find it in dark chocolate as well. 70 to 75 percent and above dark chocolate you will get sufficient manganese so these are common foods dark dark chocolate may not be common but green leafy vegetables are citrus fruits are nuts and seeds are and so are your whole grains so that comes down to a balanced diet you eat a balanced diet you take care of all of these things automatically there are so many people out there chasing skin treatments and all of these things and you struggle and struggle and struggle i'm not saying the treatments are bad for you take them but get back to the basics does your body have what it needs in the first place to look after your skin, your hair, your vital organs, your weight and everything else? If it doesn't, you're not going to find your answer in any of the products out there in the market and any of the treatments. First, fix the basics. Let your body get what gets what it needs. You can have a beautiful blueprint of a house that you want to build and you have all of the raw material but some of it. Can you build a house? No. You need all of the raw material to build a house that you have on your blueprint. If you don't have the raw material, you cannot build a house. So you, you try to build a house without the right raw material. What happens? Inferior quality. It'll possibly fall down. It'll not look the way that you liked it. The same thing with your health. You have a blueprint for health that re revolves around your macronutrients, your micronutrients, the amount of exercise your body needs, the quality sleep that your body needs, and your emotional wellness. 
you put this all together and you give the body what it needs. Then your body harnesses its own intelligence and it learns to help you correct a problem, prevent a problem, and for you to live through a normal lifetime without the amount of disease that we have today. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, and breathe deep.